Ten minutes, I think, right? Oh, you're okay? I have a wife. You got permission. <laughs> As we all have to. All y'all got permission too. So. That's right. You okay? I had to sign out when I left. You. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing too. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to get into the, the faith aspect, and normally we might save the game part to the end, but I really want to be able to let you hear, you know, some real personal things about their lives and, and Christ in their lives. So I'm gonna just take a minute here, um, and we're gonna just momentarily pause and talk about. There's a game tomorrow. Uh, who here is pulling for the Broncos? Raise your hand. And who is pulling for that other team, Seattle? I'm very sorry to hear that, fellas. It's not going to go well for you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> right, if you could just kind of give us some observations that you have about the game and who you think is going to win. Can we let Pete go first? <laughs> That's right, you're not a sports fan. Are you going to watch it? Come on, you can watch it. This is no lie. You they have Andy Griffin Marathon? <laughs> I peep in on the Super Bowl. I do. God knows, I do. I peep in on the Super Bowl. The Andy Griffin Marathon? I can't miss that. I'm going to tell you why he won't. I'm going to tell you why he didn't want to watch the Super Bowl. He spent. Pittsburgh Eight years with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He leaves to come here in 1995. And you want to guess the year they went to the Super Bowl? 1995. So he doesn't care to watch it. Go ahead. Well, I, I am pulling hard for Peyton, Peyton Manning. Uh, Peyton, I got to work with him for eight years in Indianapolis. Obviously, won a Super Bowl with him in Indianapolis. Went to another one in there in Indianapolis. So, uh, it, actually, he called the head coach in San Diego for me uh, last week or two weeks ago to help me get the job in San Diego. So, I'm beholding to Peyton a little bit. So, uh, so, so I'm pulling hard for Peyton to, to win another Super Bowl and, and kind of. I don't know if I want to say his legacy is what it's going to be, but to, for a quarterback to win two Super Bowls, um, you know, is, is a fantastic deal. And kind of, you know, there's some quarterbacks and some teams who win a Super Bowl because everything just kind of clicks and happens that season. But to go back and win another one, you're, you're, it's a pretty special deal. So I'm pulling hard for him to, to win that Super Bowl, and uh, and uh, I, I hope they do. Uh, you know, they've got a good team. He he does a great job. He control. He is. He is the most prepared uh, person that I've ever seen in the NFL. He's gonna he's gonna prepare like like nobody's world. He knows everything that's going on. He's on top. Actually, I, I was got up uh, all my days. I, I flew here on a, on a red eye Thursday, but I got here Friday or whatever. So my days are kind of messed up a little bit. I think it was Thursday morning. I was I got up at like six o'clock out in San Diego, and, there, and his press conference was on. And uh, one of the reporters asked Peyton a question. They said, "Well, do you know who the other two quarterbacks are who have started two Super Bowls for two different teams?" And if you know Peyton Manning, yes, he knows the answer to it. He knows exactly who they were, what teams they played for, and everything else. He knows everything about that stuff. So, so his, he's like to the reporter. He goes, "Well." Yeah, I know who they are. He says, do you want me to tell you who they are so I can help you with your story? <laughs> and, and he know, you know, so he's going to prepare like nobody's business and uh, hopefully goes out and plays well. And, uh, you know, so I'm pulling for them. Uh, Seattle has done a great job. Actually, you know, I'm a Seahawk alumni, and I went out for a game they played this year <clears throat> out in Seattle. We, they did a 30th reunion of the, the Seahawks first playoff team. So I got to go out and see guys I haven't seen since 1984. And they just had a great time uh, reconnecting with a bunch of old friends and stuff. But we got to watch them play and, and they play hard and their defense is big and fast and physical and, and uh, they challenge people and they're gonna, and they make it very hard to run the ball. Uh, their defensive scheme is set up and, and, and you gotta try to beat them passing but they got great Defenders and, and, and their, their defensive backs are all really, really good players. So, 
it'll be a challenge. Uh, it'll be a great matchup. You got the best offense in the league against the best defense in the league, and uh, usually in all those situations, it comes down to. I think I guess the last time that ever happened was the Buffalo Bills versus the New York Giants in 1990, and it was a game that came down to a field goal at the end of the game, and a gust of wind came up, and Scott Norwood's kick was curving in, and then it's just straightened up and missed by about three feet, and. The Giants win the Super Bowl, and Bill Parcells is a genius because of that. <laughs> Don't care about Bill Parcells. <laughs> I didn't take it at all. He, too, he became the big two. If, if Scott, and Scott Norwood, I guess they said he'd been, you know, all his kicks had been curving in and all, you know, warm ups and everything else. And I, I blocked and turned, and the ball was going in. And it's like, hey, and then it was like, oh, no. Straight up and we missed, and, you know, such is life. I think Peyton has a chance about the two Super Bowls. He has a chance to become the first quarterback as a starter to win Super Bowls with two teams. Yeah. Kurt Warner had that chance and didn't do it. He's got a chance. Yeah, yeah. Warner started for the Rams in, the, in, in Arizona. Uh, he didn't win in Arizona. The other one was Craig Morton going way back with, with the Dallas Cowboys and the, and the Denver Broncos. Uh, the two guys who started for two different teams in the Super Bowl. So. But for Peyton to win, you know, it's just, you know, he's playing in New York where Eli plays and, you know, the Giants Stadium and, yeah, yeah, Eli's won it twice. Yeah, we won it, yeah, yeah we won it with Peyton and against the Bears. So, that is one of the, that, that is one of the, my, my best football memory, this is all I'm going to, away from this thing and, you know, going on with the story is, is when we, because we lost the Super Bowl four times as in Buffalo. My, my, yeah, actually, my youngest son, Jonathan, who's here, slept through the Super Bowl and, against the Giants and woke up as we missed a kick and he said, did we win? You know, <laughs> I <started> win. <laughs> and my older son, in our second Super Bowl, he and a buddy has gotten a fist fight in the stands because it was your dad's fault that we lost and no, it was your dad's fault that we lost. <laughs> I think the third Super Bowl, my older son was crying because I prayed that we were going to win the Super Bowl. God must hate us because we didn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, so we went through all that in the four Super Bowls. And, but when we won it in Indianapolis against the Bears, uh, you know, it was a day it was raining. You know, and the, my two sons they were at the they were at the very top edge of the bottom of the bowl in, 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 the, in the in Miami. And, the people sitting right behind them were in the cover section, so they stayed dry, but they were getting the water dripping on top of them. They were soaking wet. So it was a, when we won, I was up in the box, and it came down onto the field, so I was dry, which was just nice. But I came down on the field, they came down the stands and jumped down onto the field. And uh, the three of us were standing there, my wife was standing up at the top of the, you know, the kind of the bottom bowl, and she's crying that we you know, finally went, and the three of us turned around, and we're like, yes, we finally won one of these things. And that's my greatest memory in football. Awesome. He has something on a ring finger here. What? That's a Super Bowl championship. I gotta wear it on this ring, on this finger, because my other finger is got it's old football stuff. It's all swollen up, and I can't get it on that finger, so I had to put it on this finger. So. Right. And, and Sean, if you you know, as you give us your prediction, if you take just one minute and. and uh, you did not reach a Super Bowl, uh, and just what that felt like, and then just who you think is going to win. Well, uh, you know, when you're when you're in the business and you're consumed with competing, you know, you're really buying to it's the ultimate success. And when I played, it's what I wanted. Uh, nothing short of that. And I played for 11 years. Never went to a Super Bowl. Missed the playoffs the year I was in Washington. It's the, just the year we were here, we finished 8 and 8. <coughs> so the other side of Pete going to 800 Super Bowls, <laughs> is you get some guys that don't get to participate in that. But, you know, I'm not sad about it. You know, I'm really grateful for my opportunities. I know that it takes, there's a lot of things that have to line up for teams to play tomorrow. And uh, it has to be special, special, a, a special group of guys, coaches, you know, they have to all buy in. And then when, when you feel that ebb and flow, you got to ride it. I was, I was successful in high school, and I was pretty decent in college. I had lost a football game in high school to, my, to the state championship. You know, and, and, you know, so 
you, you know what it feels like to play in a championship game. That one being the ultimate, I think it's a probably about you know, 10, 20, 20 times even, you know, you feel that much more higher playing in that game tomorrow. When I was up in New York just the other day and I was in Radio Row, you know, you get a, 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 just a feel of the atmosphere, man, and it's so electric. I mean, I, I'm thinking if I was probably, I would lose it. I probably would hyperventilate it on the sideline. I probably would have. But uh, my predictions are this, uh, you know, uh, Coach Fox was one of my coaches when I was in college. Um, Coach, he went to the Super Bowl in San Diego, didn't win. Put the Panthers to the Super Bowl, didn't win. And I think this is his time. And I think, you know, like I say, some things have to line up. He's got a great quarterback, a great, one of the best offense in the league. Uh, they have a strong defense. He's reunited with Jack Del Rio, which is the same group of guys that went to the Super Bowl when they were here. And so my prediction, and, you know, in, in, in dealing with his off-field issues and having a, a, a heart issue and having to deal with that, you know, you just you, you like to you know see the whole thing cemented with him winning his first Super Bowl uh, as a head coach. So I'm pulling for Denver. I, I like Seattle's defense because you know they, they really are tough. And uh, but I think at the end of the day, you know, if it's 40 degrees, it's going to be tough for Seattle. If it drops down to 20, then they better get ready for beast mode. <laughs> Because it's going to be ground and pound. But I'm pulling for uh, 